Dear Australia, I hope this letter finds you well. I've been trying to reach you for some time, but I don't think my words have ever found you. I never heard back from you, and that's okay. I understand that you're busy, but I can't help but be concerned. Let me explain. See, I'm a fan. I've been a fan since day one. I was born and raised in southwest Sydney, in the city of Liverpool, and since then I've enjoyed a lot of what you've had to offer. As a child, I loved your sporting culture. I thrived on the field of play. I learned a lot about the values of leadership, hard work, sacrifice, good sportsmanship and fairness, communication and teamwork. I discovered countless possibilities in your public education system. It was there that I built the skills and knowledge I needed to study law and humanities at university. It was also in school that I found a home in music, where you showed me the values of innovation, creativity, and persistence. Since then, I've seen many of your cities. I've met many of your peoples. I'm grateful for where I am now. I'm appreciative of the opportunities, but they didn't come without hardship. The constant questioning of my identity, the ignorance and racism, led me to question the values of belonging, equality, and welcome. It made me question whether you cared about me. It made me question myself. So as I grew older, I dug deep. I tried to understand you by turning to your diverse communities, by reading into your history, by observing your behavior and making connections between all that was clear and all that was buried beneath the surface. I learned that you were far from the simple Australia I thought I knew you, that I thought I knew so well as a child. Instead, you're a complex being, one that has a lot to account for and one that still has a lot to figure out. Australia, see, I love you, but I've grown tired of telling people that you have a long way to go. January 26 comes around every year and we're all invited to celebrate, but I can't celebrate. I don't know what you stand for. I don't know what you represent. You've put forward the idea of recognizing indigenous peoples, but you don't want to recognize the uncomfortable reality that for some, Australia Day is Invasion Day or Survival Day. The values that you taught me as a child conflict with your present day actions, particularly where treating people in need of your help is concerned. I find it hard to even consider celebrating when you fail to address the greatest issues of our time with those values in mind. From people seeking asylum to challenges faced by indigenous communities from climate change to violence against women. I've been looking for you to lead, but you tend to defer every time. So as a Concern fan, I want to make some suggestions. I care about you, and I, want, and I know what you're capable of. I want, you to, I want to see you become a country with a conscience, one that puts its values first and doesn't deviate from them when your peers are acting in conflict with them. Here are some values I believe you can represent. Number one, welcome. Knowing that your strength as a nation lies in your diversity. You are home to people of all walks of life, and we enjoy a richness when we value everybody's contributions. You're diverse not just in terms of cultures, but also in terms of ideas, and by embracing them, your potential for growth is limitless. Number two, healing, particularly in relation to First Nations, indigenous peoples, acknowledging the runs of your past, and not being consciously or subconsciously blind to the uncomfortable truths knowing that you cannot fully move forward without moving together with all of your peoples living equally side by side. Number three, innovation. Outside of the obvious of supporting innovation in science and technology, but thinking creatively where solving some of the world's greatest challenges are concerned. Take climate change or poverty, for example. Number four, compassion. Particularly for those who are in need of your support and assistance. There are many who come knocking on your doorstep requesting your help. Instead of turning them away, treating them harshly and inhumanely, treat them with common decency. 
be open to their suffering and their desire to be safe and free. Number five, understanding. So that we may live in a spirit of wanting to understand each other by listening, respecting, and valuing others. Number six, teamwork. Knowing that nothing is achieved by individuals alone and that we must work together for the betterment of all. These values are starting points. May the suggestion of them open up a discussion around which values you stand for. Once you've realized them, act in accordance with them and create incentives so that all those who follow you will want to act in accordance with them too. I believe in you. I believe in your capacity to be a nation with a conscience, a caring one, and one that leads with its, va with its values in mind, knowing that you have a responsibility not just to all of your peoples, but to the global community too. Until then, I'll continue to travel your lands, meeting many, meeting many more of your peoples, and visiting many more of your cities, building with all those who want to see you shine too. I hope to hear from you soon. Yours truthfully, a concerned fan. Thank you.